Hey guys, welcome back. So we left off in the last video creating our bowl and now we're gonna be moving forward to the fluid sim. And we're gonna be working counterintuitively because, uh, you know, at least unnaturally, when you make a bowl of cereal, usually you start with the bowl, then you pour the cereal, then the milk, but now we're, we did the bowl, now we're gonna move forward to the milk, then the cereal. Now, I mean, we could have easily have filled this particles with, um, you know, the, the cereal, then went to the milk, but I think it's a little bit more, um, beneficial to do it this way so what i want to do now is basically create a box which will be the domain where the liquid sim will go so what i'll do is press shift a go to mesh go to cube and if you go to wireframe here you'll see um you basically just want the cube to be outside the area to fit all the simulation in and this is pretty good this is where you want it to be as well, I mean, I could bring this floor up higher, but I think this is fine for what we needed to do. So once I have this set, I'm going to change the name over here from cube to domain. So we have the scene nice and organized. And also I'm gonna need a uh, inflow, which will be the object that the liquid comes from. So we'll use a sphere for that. We'll press shift A, go to mesh, then go to cube or uh, UV sphere and we'll press S to downscale it. And we can bring this up by pressing uh, G to bring it up in the Z axis. And you wanna ensure that it's inside of your bounding box domain and we'll change this sphere name to um, inflow. So I N F L O W and lastly, we need, um, we have our collider here, which is our bowl. So let's start adding physics to um, these. So first things first, we have our domain. I wanna select that, go to our physics tab here, add fluid, and where it says uh, type, I wanna change this to domain because it is our domain. And we wanna change the settings from gas to liquid because it will be a liquid. And also, I want to scroll down to where it says mesh and just check that on. And now where it says uh, type replay, we want to uh, have it do all. So once you start to bake, we can go back and replay it all. Now we're done with the domain. Now let's move forward to the inflow, which is our sphere where our liquid will be uh, dispensed from. So in our physics tab, we just add fluid to it and change the nature type from none to flow. And where it says smoke, change it from smoke to liquid. And then the flow behavior will instead not be using the geometry, but in flow. That looks good. Now for our, our bowl, this is gonna be the effector. So let's go to fluid change the type to effector. So let's just press play and check this out. So press play, nothing happens because it's not an animation. We're gonna be doing a uh, simulation, so we have to bake this. So we'll select our cube, which is our domain, scroll down and press bake all. And you can see that it's working by um, the bottom where it says fluid bake and it has the percentage letting you know when it's almost done. And at any point you wanna stop it, you can just press escape on the keyboard. And as you can see, we can now scrub through the timeline and play this. And if you look closely, you can see, and let's go back to um, shade mode. And you can see it, it kinda of goes through the bowl. And that's only due to the fact that the, the quality is so low poly, you need to add more um, resolution to it. So let's go back to the first frame and let's select our uh, domain here. And with the domain selected, you can go up where it says bake all at first. Now it says free all, so we can free that simulation. And we need to change the resolution. So the resolution is set to 32 but to make it look smoother, we can choose something closer to 80 or uh, 90. So I'll do 90 for this, but if your computer can't handle it, um, 
choose something that's that matches your your software. So I have 90, and I want to um, basically rebake this. So let's go back down to bake all. And it is going to slow it down. So the better resolution you have, it's going to bog down your system's memory. So just be aware of that. All right, guys, I hit escape. Um, this is pretty much as much as I wanted to see on uh, that bake. So as you can see, more resolution, less comes out. And this looks closer to what I want it to look like. But I want to stop this at some point, right? You don't want this to fill all the way up and overflow. Because, um, you know, no one likes to waste milk. You don't. And at any point, you can always right-click on this and go to smooth to make it look a lot more smoother. This looks great. So we can go to the wireframe once again and see how this looks. Comparison. Milk pours into the bowl. And to make this fill up even faster, you can um, increase the size of the actual uh, inflow object. So this looks good right about here. I want too much milk, so I'll stop this around 98. So now to start animating this and get this thing to turn off, what I'll do is scroll back to the front. I'll go to frame one. I'll press this um, animate property here. Scroll to about here. It fills it up nicely around like 80. Create another keyframe. I'll turn it off around 85 or uh, around 90. I'll turn it off. Animate that. And then somewhere around 120, it should be done. So I'll rebake this. I'll go back to frame one. Go back to my domain. I'll free all. And I'll rebake a final time. And it's always good to save. So I'll press File, Save. Save it somewhere on your desktop where you know it is. As well as be aware of where your cache is letting um, your files stock up. Because these things can get pretty hectic and huge. Eat up a lot of memory on your PC. So remember that as well. So let's um, rebake this. Okay, this looks like a good place to stop this simulation. So I'll, I'll press escape. Let's just take a quick look at this. Let's go to our shade smooth. That looks good. I kind of like the splashiness of this. I don't want to take it down too low. So if you play this really quick, you can see the animation as I stop the simulation, how it affects it. I think this is a good place to stop this. So what I'll do is convert this over to a mesh. So I'll right click convert to mesh now I can go back to frame one and it's gone I do want to get rid of these particles here at the bottom outside of the bowl so what I'll do is just press tab to enter edit mode or I'll go over these press L L L delete faces I'll do the same over these as well press L L L, L, delete, just that simple. Press tab and we have this, press file, save, and I'll continue in the next video.